Hi, it's Alistair Harrison here from Irwin's Aggregates in Coal Island, County Tyrone. We were involved in the supply of materials for the new second green in Clandy Boy, and we're here today to show you how we make some of our sands and the process behind making these. We bring in sands from various different parts of uh, County Tyrone usually, um, from the Loch Fay area and from the Pomeroy area. Uh, some of our sands are quite fine and some of them are coarser. The coarser, uh, the finer sands by themselves aren't really much good for making root zones out of because you need to have uh, medium to coarser particles of the sands to help drainage. So we use these finer sands and then blend them through with some coarser materials. Over here you can see some what we call screen gravel and it has got material which is right up to two inch. This is a coarser feedstock. When we combine this with the finer material and put it through our plant, what happens is these materials, the coarser materials, go into the, uh, go into the bins and uh, get divided up into uh, four different types of gravel and then we have two different types of sand being made from the, the other materials. The finer materials and the finest silt and clays ultimately gets washed into our pond system which, which is a waste product. And in effect, 25 to 30 percent of the material actually could be a waste product. That material is no good if it's being used in uh, greens construction. So that's why we have to wash it out. The sand and gravel comes in and you have two or three different types of feedstock. Gets fed up the, through the hopper, the conveyor, into the main plant. You've got basically four different types of gravel washed out of the sand. And then you've got the remaining parts of the sand going to three different places. You've got the real fine sand here, you've got the HS Masters here, and you've got, probably got a zone three uh, being made there. All the waste goes over into the silt ponds up in behind. This is the HS Masters being made. It's made through what is called a hydrosizing process. Uh, what, you, what you have here is you have upward currents of water be, uh, forcing the finer particles of sand out and over and they end up in, a, in our silt ponds and it, it leaves the sand very single sized. Everything in the sand is below 1.4 millimetres with about five, uh, five to six percent between one mil and 1.4 mil and uh, a maximum of 20 percent, somewhere between 50 and 20 percent under 250 micron with only about one percent finer than 125 micron. This is a, a very clean sand, very free draining sand and ideal for a root zone. We only make about 120 tonnes a day because it is so single sized. The hydrosizer that you can see here is the key to what we, uh, what we do in Irwins. The si hydrosizer allows us to get the sand clean enough and single sized enough so that we can supply sand for top dressing greens and for making root zones. This pile of sand here is very fine sand. This is the material which is washed out of the HS Masters and basically is no good for going into greens because it will inhibit drainage. For the viewers, Alistair, what, what, what would you use this sand for? Well, this sand actually is used for equestrian purposes. It beds very well and uh, so it's, good, it's good, good for going into equestrian arenas. Here we've got our trommel mixer. All our sand soil mixes, sand peat mixes and sand compost mixes get mixed through this particular screener. There are a series of brushes on the top to keep the screen clean. The coarser material, which is uh, the unbroken lumps of soil and stone that would be in the, uh, in the soil, uh, moved over to the left hand side for the trash. And over on the right hand side, that's, uh, that's your root zone mixes, which will be pretty much free of stone. Uh, the biggest stone is going to be probably five or six mil in it, so it's going to be perfect for uh, raking out and give you a lovely, even, stone-free surface for putting, uh, for sowing out or for uh, putting turf down on top of. The HS Masters, which is basically, it then goes into a stockpile and is dried, and you can see how clean it is here. Now, it's very clean, very free draining. Now, it's ideal for a root zone. And the reason it is because you could, the, the water will drain through it, but the voids within the HS Masters, which, is, which aid the drainage, also helps capillary action, which is basically the water being drawn upwards by the roots. For Clandy Boy, 
for the root zone we used peak. The peak got mixed through with the HS Masters and the reason this was done, this was to provide the nutrients to go into the sand to provide a good healthy root zone and this gave nourishment and feeding to the, to the grass which is essential to be able to create a healthy sward. A free draining sand like HS Masters is ideal for a root zone because it helps prevent com uh, compaction. You haven't got silts or clays in the sand which are, detriment are detrimental to the root zone and are also detrimental to root growth. With the voids that are created, which are aid drainage and aid capillary action, it means that the, the grass can be much healthier. That's why we tend to put peat into the root zone, because by adding soil in, you're actually putting back in silts and clays, which are the, the kind of material that we wash out of the sand to create the HS Masters in the first place. In the first place. So a peat or an organic green compost tends to be better and works better as a root zone. This is the same kind of root zone that was used around the, the approaches and the edges of the green in Clandy Boy. The key reason why you wouldn't use an ordinary building sand for building a green out of uh, is basically the top size and the bottom size. In an ordinary builder sand, you can have 30 to 40% less than a quarter of a mil, whilst an HS Masters will only have about 15 to 16%. Even more than that, under 125 micron, there's only 1% on HS Masters, and this could still be upwards of 20%. That's the area that gives you the drainage. You need to ensure you've got good drainage in this sand. The other thing is, above two mil, HS Masters has nothing. Above 1.4 mil, it has nothing. So it means that you haven't got pickles coming all over your greens when they're being top dressed. If you get a built-in sand, you could get three or four mil. If you go and put that on a golf green, you're going to be uh, trying to line up a putt from ten, uh, 10 foot away and you're picking up grit and pebbles everywhere and you don't want that.